I don't know what's the best ride in this park anymore. I really don't. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, it's this one right here. It's official. We just dropped off Kenobi at the uh, pet check-in, and that place looks very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and uh, air-conditioned in there. Uh, he's got a nice uh, big kennel. Staff was polite, and uh, it's 15 bucks for the day, so you can't really beat it. Yeah, very cheap. Yeah, so uh, he'll be good in there, and uh, we're headed into the park. Uh, we were here for uh, opening weekend uh, back in May, and uh, that was a very good time to come, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, one of the very few select lucky people that got to ride Top Thrill 2. <laughs> exactly. It would have been torture to come out here not having done that already. Yeah, again, because it's still closed, which is absolutely nuts. What a, what a nightmare scenario here for Zan and Cedar Point. But uh, there's plenty of other awesome rides here that I'm very, very excited for. Uh, when we were here, we only got like seven or eight of the roller coasters yeah. done. So we still have like half the roller coasters here to ride. <laughs> uh, Gemini, Magnum, Iron Dragon, the Wild Big Mouse. Ones. Yep. Yeah, um, but I'm more excited to get re-rides on the, the best ones, obviously. Exactly, I'm excited to get on Steel Vengeance. Steel, yeah, I want to ride Steel Vengeance in the heat of the summer. Let's see how it's running. Yeah. I'm very excited for that. <laughs> Maverick, obviously, Millennium Force. It's going to be a good time. Absolutely. All right, in for early entry. Uh, they actually let us in at like 8.56, like four minutes before 9 a.m., yeah. so that's pretty cool. I about that. Uh, I think we're going to go towards uh, Wild Mouse first, though, believe it or not. <laughs> that's going to get a crazy line throughout the day. Yeah, that, that line's going to get long, and it's not going to go back down, so let's just try to get it out of the way now. Yeah. Looks like one of the more unique wild mice, I guess, so. It, it definitely looks like one of the coolest wild mice I've seen before, so yeah, it should be fun. I hope with the cheese. Yeah, I want the cheese car. Yeah, yeah. The cheese car. <laughs> uh, odds are not in our favor for that, but we'll see. You never know. Oh, Larry's not looking too hot. <laughs> Larry might have some addiction issues, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or he even has a concussion. Or that, I don't know. Hopefully you didn't get it from riding this. Uh-oh. I can't start my day like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we didn't get the cheese car, unfortunately. We got Maisie, but uh... Girl. Yeah, she, she got get, yeah, she got us through. That was a pretty fun ride. <laughs> yeah, definitely the most unique wild mouse I've ridden. I'd say it's the best one. I'm, I'm glad we did it. Yeah, probably the best themed wild mouse I've been on. Uh, it, it was good fun, yeah. Um, pretty pretty forceful, actually. Yeah, going backwards was fun, too, you know, because you're spinning the whole time. Yeah, so. you're spinning. You, you go down drops backwards, sideways, always. So it's, a, it's a good time, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's still a wild mouse. I did notice my restraints were getting a little tighter, like as we spun, the centrifugal force was kind of like oh, really? sucking me in uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I didn't notice that, but uh, yeah, pretty much a one and done for us, but yeah. fun family ride. Ah, yeah. uh, it's so sad. All right, up next, Arrow Suspended Coaster Iron Dragon. We just did the bed at Kings Island, so let's see how this compares. After riding the bat at Kings Island, I was kind of expecting something similar, but I was severely disappointed right there. I agree. 
I think it was a lot longer, but... That's because of the second lift hill, yeah. which also doesn't make sense. It's just yeah. you broke up the ride in the middle there. I didn't like that. Unnecessary. The only force was the helix at the very end of the ride, mm -hmm. and the rest of it was just extremely tame. Yeah. And I also thought it was like a little shaky too, so I was just kind of like waiting for it to be over, I guess. Um, I'm glad we did it so we could say we did, but we won't be doing a re-ride anymore. Yeah, it's fine family coaster. Uh, young kids will probably get some thrills on there, but yeah. One and done for me, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't need to ride that again. Yeah. <laughs> the bat is much better. I agree. Yeah, it, and it, like, it swings way more side to side as well. And it's forces. Just forceful throughout, yeah, way more intense. And a cooler setting. Mm -hmm. And it's orange. And it's orange. <laughs> Up next, Millennium Force, the original Giga. I don't know where all these Millennium Force haters are coming from. I was about from. to say the same thing. Yeah, that is forceful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get airtime on every single one of those hills. It is Florida airtime, but it's there. I love that anyways. I don't care. 310 feet tall, 93 miles an hour. Like, right. that oh, thing speeds through it. the track. It's relentless. It keeps its pace throughout. Mm -hmm. I actually grayed out a little bit nearly got to that point at the end of that big hill, which never happens for me, really. Intimidator 305 is the only ride that's ever done that. Yeah, so this thing is forceful. It's, it's, it doesn't try to murder you like I-305 <laughs> or Project 305, whatever the hell it is now, but uh, it's awesome. Yep. Um, our first ride a few months ago was in the rain, so this is more enjoyable. I didn't feel like I was getting pelted in the face. Yeah, we'd have to keep our eyes closed on this one. Yeah. Uh, we rode in the, the back car, which was awesome, Ooh, yeah. especially that drop. Um, the, the rest of the ride would be better in the front row for sure because you get that sense of speed, but back, back row was fantastic. Yeah. I had a great time. Yeah. Just hanging out. Horsing around. Horsing around. <laughs> Good old boys. Okay. See you guys later. Bye, horses. Have a good day. They got me. I got you good, huh? I got me good. <laughs> what did you do? You don't want to know. <laughs> To this. this is the main reason we were here. Yeah, for me, anyways. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. Hey, Mr. Swan. Hey, Swan, are you molting? Is that... Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> hey, baby. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so ticked off that I'm molting. I guess, uh. You seen better days. Yeah, he's shedding. Yeah. He's just ripping his feathers out. It is hot. I don't blame him. <laughs> Alright, good luck with that. Good luck. It's better open soon. I hope so. <laughs> I want to see some llamas. I mean, I see them. <laughs> Is your best friend? I'll be back for you soon. We see you. We see you. Yeah. Alright, thank goodness. They open at noon. Yeah, Whew. good. The day is safe. <laughs> that was, it's not a total bust. I was getting worried. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, time to head out. <laughs> All right, steel vengeance. <laughs> With a zero minute posted wait time, that can't be true. <laughs> Oh boy, it's hot. <laughs> so we just got off good old Steve here, and what a fantastic roller coaster. That's a great ride. Love it every time. So good. Oh, so much ejector air time. 
I love going upside down without any shoulder restraints. That always makes me feel so free. Yeah, they say this ride might have the most airtime in the world. I, I, I can kind of see that, yeah. It goes on forever. <laughs> so the length is crazy on this ride. It's like two roller coasters in one. Um, unfortunately, the mid course is hitting decently hard today. They do have three trains on the track. I think that's why. So the second half is running a bit slower than it could be. Uh, we rode it back in May and it was it was going faster through the second half of the layout. It's a really hot day. I expect to speed up too. So. Yeah, definitely. It'll be faster later on. The first half of the ride is hauling though and it's, yeah, it's such a great ride. World class. Love it. Love it every time. Need some water. Yeah, so <laughs> and uh, on to the next. <laughs> Oh, and also uh, we're decked out in our awesome Kings Island shirts. Yeah. Couldn't tell. People are loving it. People are loving it. Kayla got like 30 comments. I got one. So. Very cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll catch up. <laughs> Everybody come see how cool we look. <laughs> hey, everyone. Come and see how good I look. That's cute. Hello. Squish him. He's squishing. Yes. He's a cactus and he's snowing. Alrighty, so we just got backbeat barbecue. Yep. <laughs> backbeat barbecue, yeah. Um, so when you're at a Legacy Cedar Fair Park, I highly recommend you get the uh, dining meal, uh, the dining plan, the all-day dining plan. It's uh, $33.99, and uh, you can get an entree, a side, an entree and a side every 90 minutes. Which is sweet. Um, we actually didn't get breakfast this morning. We got here really early, so we know we'll eat at least twice. So might as well. The, the math added up. Yeah, if you eat twice, you've already you've paid for it. So that's yep. good, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're starting back with barbecue. And this is very delicious. Yeah. Brisket, mac and cheese, and cornbread comes with the meal. Yeah, the brisket's very good. So it's the mac and cheese, and the cornbread is very soft I'm and sorry, moist. Yep. I guess we should have probably grabbed a knife, too. I can go get a knife. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Mm -hmm. Backbeat barbecue. Great brisket, great mac and cheese, great cornbread muffin. Try it. It's a winner. <laughs> we got some bird nightmare stuff going on over here. We got bird on bird crime. Bird on bird crime, Jesus. It's going crazy. Somebody found a piece of cornbread and they are getting trounced by other birds. It's, it's terrifying. We gotta get it. <laughs> So we just had two very different rides on Magnum XL 200. Uh, first ride, uh, we were in uh, second to last row, and uh, it was awesome. Oh, I thought, yeah. yeah. Um, I had to brace myself. It wasn't the smoothest, but I actually expected it to be rougher. Yeah, 1989. It was built. Well, I, I love that. Yeah. Um, great. Inject your airtime on the uh, return trip there. Uh, 205 feet tall, 72 miles an hour. First hyper coaster ever built, the original, 1989. Glad I could say I did it. As old as Kayla. Yep, it's official. <laughs> we are the same age. <laughs> uh, I love the tunnels, especially that last one with all the cool lights in there. For the first time around, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Second time around, we rode in what they call the magic seat, which is row three. And that was in row three. That's stupid. I don't know who came up with that. <laughs> that is the craziest roller coaster in this park in row three. Oh my God. The, the airtime is unreal on that return trip because like the hills are like triangle shaped <laughs> and, <laughs> and you, like the ejector is just so abrupt and like painful. Yeah, too painful. It took me out of the element and it kind of ruined the ride for me. I hear that. It's, it's nuts. Like I still enjoyed it, but like there was pain. There, there, there was a good amount of pain there. Like I thought Airy Forest One's like airtime hills at the end were something. This is way crazier. <laughs> well, that's worth the pain. This, this isn't worth the pain. So like I won't go on it again. I, I still liked it a lot, but uh, yeah. I'm uh, glad for you. Uh, definitely more manageable and uh, non wheel seat. Yes, recommended. <laughs> so, so different. All right, up next, Gemini. Very excited for this one, too. Looks like a uh, wooden roller coaster, but the track is actually steel. So, uh, dual. <laughs> fake out. <laughs> uh, dueling coaster built by Arrow in 1978. Should be fun. All righty, Gemini in the books. We rode the uh, the blue side, and uh, we were in the lead, but then like the operator like slammed the brakes on us, and then just let the red side run into the station. So uh, so lame, man. 
we, we were ahead at the end and yeah they cheated for the red side but whatever we still had fun um, it, there was good camaraderie between us and the red train too we were kind of like all poking fun at each other so love a good, a good dueling time. cozy yeah awesome with the and back and forth yeah. with the red train there and uh, your time i liked it i thought that was gonna be a lot janker than it was yeah, it was very did. smooth for a cozy built in 1978 hey exactly uh, the one with 1989 over there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> decent pops of Florida airtime throughout. Uh, the first drop was really fun yeah. as well. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. uh, good length on there, like almost 4,000 feet of yep. track. Maybe we'll try to get the red side later. <laughs> and the blue side's probably going to yeah. win. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was really fun. It was. This park has a, a great lineup. <laughs> quite the lineup, yeah. yeah. All right, time to ride Top Thrill 2. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? No one told us. <laughs> it's been closed for how long? <laughs> What's wrong with it? You're still not telling us? <laughs> so any of you who have ridden it, uh, let us know what you think in the comments below, please. And if you say anything other than it's awesome, you're a liar. <laughs> I think Cedar Point should plant more trees. <laughs> this is wide open midways. It is baking hot. You might as well be walking on the sun, am I right? <laughs> Yikes. Alrighty, time for Blue Street. It's a gorgeous wooden roller coaster, and it's blue. Built in 1964 by PTC Blue Streak, the park's only wooden blue roller coaster. <laughs> that is true. That's a fact. Well, it was all right. I mean, for something as old as it is, um, I was expecting it to be rougher, and it really wasn't. It was, it was an all right time. Yeah, that was that's a fun family wooden roller coaster show. We were in the front row, so it was probably the smoothest row. And it was still a bit bumpy. I'm sure it's way worse, like in the back of the train or on a wheel seat. But uh, um, some of the airtime hills were given good pops of floater, and others were not. So it's it's a, it's a fun wooden roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. I had, I had fun on it. Yeah, me too. But don't need to go on it again. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Grand Pavilion. Let's see what this is all about. Kind of some adult beverages. Adult beverages, and uh, are we ready for our second uh, meal? Not yet. I don't know. Probably Let's not yet. Hope it out. Oh, it feels amazing. Oh, it's nice in here. My favorite things. We eat both of those things. Yeah. Don't even look at me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could be in here for hours. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, this at, a, at an amusement park. Wow. Yeah. High style. High class. This is sick. Premier. Classic signature cocktails. Kale's getting the Paloma. I'm going to get the uh, Boardwalk Blueberry Lemonade, I think. So I have all this beer and wine and frozen drink section as well. Oh, beer flight, 1999. <laughs> you enjoying your drink? I like it, yeah. It tastes like grapefruit and tequila, so I'm good. <laughs> I do not taste the vodka in mine, but otherwise it is very refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do have blueberries. Try yours, yeah. That has tequila. Yeah, that one has tequila. <laughs> what was you supposed to have? Vodka. Oh, well. So the TVs are like picture frames. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I do like the ceiling. It is kind of like Art Deco 1920s. Like, it's pretty here. Yeah, I would not expect to see this inside of uh, an amusement park. A Six Flags park. 
there's uh, little bar bites here as well. Not part of the meal plan, but there's still an option. Those are not part of our dining plan, but an option for you as well. All right, meal plan excursion number two. I, I like that a lot. Yeah, the, uh, the steak is really good. It's ginger soy yep. steak. Uh, we got some fried rice, which is also good. Island fried rice is what they're calling it. Island, Island fried rice, yeah, I, I like that a lot. And I have not tried the uh, bread roll yet. Looks good though, it looks, looks soft. soft. Take a bite, let me know. I don't wanna touch it with my hands, so now I'm touching it. Just touching it. It's a roll. That's a roll. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Let's enjoy. Meal plan number two is success. Mm -hmm. We're definitely using one more of these. Yep. <laughs> Sharing it makes it worth it. Yeah, because like I don't want to eat. Oh I wouldn't eat that all by myself right now, especially when it's 105 degrees outside. Exactly. Like going to go ride roller coasters. I just need about half of this. Yeah, half is that perfect yet. Mm -hmm. so. so we're sharing. We're doing good. We're good. Adventure Park. Sense. Adventure Park's update. Mm -hmm. The island rice is called island rice because it's pineapple. pineapple. Makes sense. Yes. Um. I heard it root. You heard it here first. All right, food was good, and uh, since we're next door to Gatekeeper here, why not? I guess the uh, trick with the wing coasters is right on the outside seat. <laughs> yeah, I, this is the first time I've ever done that. I guess because I love them so much. So I've always just let Reggie do it. Um, they're way better on the outside. And I've got a hater for no reason, turns out. So I kind of blame you for that. Uh, yeah, on the inside seat, yeah, that wasn't really doing much there. I'm not going to Every gonna ride, lie. I'm always like, eh, eh. <laughs> turns out because it's way worse on the inside. Oh uh, yeah, on the outside seat you get more forces, more yeah, whippiness. That was cool. the, the near misses with the keyholes, I like had fun. Yeah. I liked it. I had a decent time. <laughs> it all works out. Also, this is for my grandpa. Going to do my banshee shirt. So when me and uh the other three grandkids we'd be uh making a bunch of noise, you'd say we're louder than a bunch of banshees. And I just shout out to grandpa, because look at your banshee grew up. Shout out to Gramps. Shout out to Grandpa Al. bird from gatekeeper guys intimidating af he keeps the gate he better with a face like that ah! like a he seems he seems uh suitable for the job he seems capable yeah <laughs> oh that's cool too you know i love a good griffin <laughs> Okay, so the last time I rode Raptor and today are completely different ride experiences that I had and I might owe this thing an apology. I've loved it both times. I, you know, I love a good B&M invert. So <laughs> I had a great time. It was really forceful Wait, back. What? It was tons of fun. Yeah, no, it, it was fantastic this time around. Super forceful. We were in the back row. Yep. Uh, I love that first drop, how it kind of like swoops your feet up to the right Ooh. first before straightening out. And every single inversion was super whippy, super forceful. That helix right behind me as well. Yeah, here it comes. I do like them both. Uh, preferring this one slightly right now. Fair enough. Wow. Yeah. 
I was not expecting it. Like, how, how did it change so much since the last time I rode it? I don't understand it. I don't know. I think we were kind of in the middle maybe last time. Um, I definitely want to get a front row ride, too, because I, I had such a good time. I, I want to experience it up there, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we can go try that in the front row for sure. Yeah, it's been a short line, so why not? Yeah, this is basically a walk-on, so yeah. awesome. Let's go. Let's go do that. <laughs> Looks like we're going on the carousel next. <laughs> They're whimsical. They are certainly whimsical, right? They make me happy. We're doing it. And you know, we like naming our horses. <laughs> also, we've noticed that all of the outside horses, they don't go up and down, so. The inside horses do. All the inside ones, yeah. It makes a big difference. Sure does, yeah. You need that air time. Absolutely. <laughs> This is my horse, Smiler. Smiler? Yeah, named after Theon Greyjoy's horse. What's your horse's name? He looks like a Ferdinand. I like it. Yeah. That was a nice 45 second ride on Skyride. <laughs> the fastest gondola ride I've ever been on. I was shocked when it was over. Like I filmed run one ride of uh, Bell Raven and Reggie's like, we're getting off. <laughs> I, like, oh, I didn't even get a chance to film anything because yeah. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. <laughs> um, it's basically a waste, but I got something. No, I mean, it, it, it was fine. There was no line at all, so it was a walk-on. Yeah. So, I mean, we could keep lapping it over and over again, I guess. But, we wanted to, yeah, sure. But we got better things to do. <laughs> is coming. Here it comes. <laughs> I just got off uh, Rougarou. That is the worst yeah. BNM floorless coaster I've ever been on. Out of all of them, definitely the worst. Um, I don't think it would be very memorable for me. Um, I have my head a few times, so I think you had a worse experience than I did. Yeah, I made, I made the mistake of wearing sunglasses and just do, 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 do. do. The first drop and loop are fine, and then after that it just becomes a headbanger, yeah. And it makes sense, this was originally a stand-up coaster called Mantis, they converted it into a floorless. So I'm sure it's better than it was before, but I don't need to ever ride that again. No, uh, even people behind us on the third row, this guy was like, I'm concussed, I'm dizzy right now. Like, so in the third row, if you're coming off feeling that bad, like, it's just not great. And if it's gonna bang your head that around that much, I, I wish it was at least that. forceful. It yeah. wasn't, like, it was just, like, I, like, I don't get it, yeah. I feel like it meandered and I hit my head. Yeah, yeah. like, what's the point? A little boring <laughs> and, and not very memorable. Yeah. It looks, it looks a lot cooler than it is. Yeah, I'm glad we can say we did it, but that's it. Train! Love a good train. We might have, we might have to get on there. Yeah, get some views and chill. <laughs> sweating so much. I'm sweating so much. Like my, I, my chin has never sweat so much. I'm listening. We both are, yeah. I'm so gross. Rides closed, but the merch store, of course, is open still. Guess how much is it? Uh, let me feel it first. Oh, feel that's the okay. That's and that's all embroidered in there. Yeah, it's embroidered. The badges. Oh my god, that's got to be one thirty. Silly man. Two hundred. You silly man. Three hundred. Two fifty. Yeah. Yikes. Two hundred fifty bucks. <laughs> A ride that doesn't work. <laughs> I like how they've like used the other rides here to be like Millennium Fuel, Maverick Metals, um, like Gatekeeper, uh, Calipers. Like that, yeah, that that's is cool. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me tell you, the vibes in this store are much different from uh, opening weekend. <laughs> yeah, people like were you 
you couldn't keep the merch on the shelves. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of cool stuff in here. It's just the air conditioner is the best part. Yeah, cool specifically. The people right. just don't have the hype to buy the stuff because they haven't ridden it. Yeah. It's like an etch a sketch. It's a picture frame. Why don't oh. you ever know what picture frames are? <laughs> Alrighty, just got off Maverick. <laughs> I don't know what's the best ride in this park anymore. I really don't. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's it's this one right here. That's his new favorite. He just got a front row ride. <laughs> He's got a front row ride on Maverick. So and she did not. So uh, yeah. we met this family in line. Uh, they had a daughter, so it was three of them, and like yeah. the daughter was kind of nervous. And she loves Banshee, so that's kind of what started the conversation. Yeah, so her and Kayla headed off, and she was kind of yeah. scared, so like Kayla ended up riding with her. In the third row, because she wanted to go towards the middle, and that's okay. Like, I want to harness the love and enthusiasm of future. <laughs> and yeah, as we were getting on the ride, I was a single rider, and uh, the husband and father, he was just like, have you ever ridden in the front row? Yeah. I'm just like, no. And he's like, here, ride with my wife. Go. And I was like, uh, awesome. <laughs> and that thing in the front row is a monster. Oh my god, so intense. I had a blast in the third row, so I can't even imagine. Yeah, the sense of speed is there. The transitions on that ride are so whippy. That that first drop, just eject your air time out of your seat. Oh, that's probably best in the back, honestly. I love all the tunnels and the, and the launches, too, because, I mean, um, the girl I was with was really scared, so she was hanging on the whole time, and then that second launch in the tunnel, she was like, I'm putting my hands up now. Yes, let's let's do it and it was she was just screaming but she was loving every second of it and it was really fun to ride with a new rider yeah that, that, that first half is awesome yeah. but the second half is really where this ride relentless. shines so it's just cool. relentless oh my god air time the stangle dive is nuts yeah. like i'm out of breath right now i'm just so happy that i got to experience that in the front row that, even that, in the third row i'm questioning like where my rankings are now so. that, that, that is now my favorite ride at cedar point fair enough it's, Crazy. That's, that's I think we're gonna do one more ride on Steve and then maybe assess our situation, but. Also the ride just broke down right after we got yeah, off. We got so, so lucky. And we, we were, were in line for like 45 while. minutes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was it was a bit getting dark now. Yeah, we're gonna check on Steel Vengeance now, obviously. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a thunderstorm might be rolling in. Hopefully not. Alright, time for a nice evening ride on good old Steve. Well, that storm that we've been waiting for all day finally came. Yeah, that is, it's crazy out there oh right now. Oh my god, oh uh, yeah, so... Uh, you can't even see out the back window right now because of how it's going. <laughs> my god, it's crazy out there. Everyone's just running for their lives. We got Kenobi. We got He's Kenobi. Back. He needed a shower anyway. Yeah, he was getting... And so did we. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> so yeah, it felt nice. Uh, for, uh, <laughs> Intense ending to the night here, and yes. uh, <laughs> we'll, ca we'll catch you guys once we're nice and dry. Yes. <laughs> Many hours later.
Good morning from Explorers Rest and Recreation Hotel. <laughs> yes, we had to jet out of there quick last night because it started to do torrentially downpour on our way to Kenobi, which was actually really welcomed because it was so hot and we felt disgusting. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were uh, quite soaked there. It was uh, mayhem to end the night for sure. And uh, we were just, yeah, just soaking wet and exhausted. So uh, it's the next day now. Yeah. I can see our uh, King's Island shirts are still dry. drying back yeah. there. <laughs> um, but uh, what a fantastic day at Cedar Point. Absolutely, like what, oh, this trip has just been so spectacular. Yeah, like we, we hit three amazing amusement parks and mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it's just been phenomenal. Um, so yeah, Cedar Point, the, the rides, like, I don't know if you can find a better collection of rides anywhere else on the planet. Uh, and just, it's not even just quality, it's quantity as well. They have so much going on, there's like, three kids areas with just so many different kinds of attractions. Um, they have water rides, a rapids rides, a big boat ride, um, so many roller coasters. It's just- Endless, really. <laughs> there's so much to do for everybody there. And on top of that, like you can like, there's like, you can like ride ponies or get on a ferry yeah, onto Lake yeah. Erie or go mm -hmm. parasailing. These are obviously the like- beaches right there. Yeah, yeah. beaches right there. These are obviously upcharge attractions, but uh, like they're, they're available for you if you want to do that kind of stuff. And it's really awesome, yeah. And we got lucky, we, um, the crowds weren't so bad. So I would say that we hit everything we wanted to and got some new rides that we didn't get the first time we visited the park. So that was pleasant. Yeah, we went back in May and uh, we only got on like seven roller coasters, I think. Yeah, and yeah, a we. Full day with Fast Pass. Yeah, and this time around we were able to get every all the roller coasters, all the major ones that we wanted to do anyway that we didn't get last time done. Uh, we missed out on a Corkscrew. After Rougarou, I didn't really feel like going on another headbanger yeah. there. <laughs> I knew exactly what that was going to do to us and it was very, very hot. So yeah, I didn't need a. Another headbanger. Yeah, it didn't need a <laughs> headache, that's for sure. And also we missed out on the uh, the mine train as well, which, you know, whatever, <laughs> no big deal. Yeah, if we had more time, we would've hit it, but we definitely prioritized three rides on some of our favorites. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It, it's hard not to prioritize rides on like Maverick and Steel <laughs> Vengeance, exactly. obviously. Just, yeah, stellar lineup. Um, with their uh, top three and like my top four, when and if Top Thrill 2 ever opens, like, there, there is no other park that has a better roller coaster collection. It's, it's unreal. And honestly, I feel like the one two for me kind of just goes back and forth. It, it's hard for me to choose between Steel uh, Vengeance and Maverick. Um, you got a front row ride, and I think that kind of changed your opinion a little bit. I, I was lucky enough to get a front row ride there, and uh, yeah, no, that's that's my favorite in the park. It's just so intense, so whippy, just. He's an intimate man. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am, yeah. Um, it's a fantastic ride. Just, just steel Vengeance, world class yeah. roller coaster. Just the length, the amount of airtime on there, just the twisted inversions through its own layout. It's just. It's worth the face full of bugs at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a face full of bugs. Those mayflies yeah. are nuts on Lake Erie. Yeah, yeah. They're like in our teeth at the end of it. Everything yeah, so I got some in my it. teeth. Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> Protein. <laughs> That's the uh, Cedar Point experience, yeah. <laughs> Love it wouldn't be the same without it. Uh, food, we had a great experience, uh, both meals. Yeah, we got the uh, diving plan and the first one to a uh, backbeat barbecue. Highly Delicious. recommend. Yeah, definitely. If you're a barbecue fan, you can find something there for sure. Yeah, that our second meal over at uh, Grand Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Also highly recommend. Yeah, lots of options too, lots of different stuff. I think everybody could find something there too. I would say the prettiest part of the park is the Grand Pavilion. That, um, the bar upstairs um, is so, so nice. It definitely felt like 1920s, vintage. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I did not feel like I was in a Cedar Fair park. No, not yeah. at all. <laughs> it was Six like a high-end lounge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was awesome. I uh, yeah, great view of the uh, the beach from the back of there. Yeah, gorgeous. Operations, fantastic. Absolutely, uh, starkly yeah. different than the first time we visited, which and was opening. Weekend. It was opening weekend, so yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of hiccups. Rides were down a lot, and you know, it happened specifically at the end of the night. Um, the Steel Vengeance line. Uh, I couldn't bring my camera into the station because you have to put everything into a locker there. Uh, but I wish I could have shown you how aggressive. These yeah, ride ops are yeah. being with uh, operations. It was unbelievable. Yeah, because like the thunderstorm was incoming and they knew it, and they were just trying to get people on this ride as fast mm -hmm. as they can, trying to give literally everybody a chance to get on. Mm -hmm. And like it was to the point where like I was like getting on the train, the, the ride ops already had the seatbelt in his hand, and it, he. He didn't actually put his hands on me, but it looks like he wanted to like grab me, like put me in my seat yeah, and like bulk me down. Like they were going so fast, like 
insanely quick dispatches, like 45 seconds, like it was nuts. I've never seen anything like it and I applaud them. Absolutely. I know that they appreciate the fact that like this is a bucket list poster for people and people travel from literally all over the world to get on this and it would be heartbreaking if they didn't get on it. So I definitely appreciate the care they take. Yeah, kudos for them. They were just yeah. getting those trains out so, so fast. I've never seen anything like it. It was amazing. It was, yeah. Mayhem, but in a good way. <laughs> A uh, very clean park overall. Yeah, I didn't see like any trash anywhere really. They did a very good job of clean up. I wish there were more trees. Yeah, I was gonna say like there's just no shade in some area. It was so hot and the black top is draining. Oh, specifically that top thrill too, like black pavement, yeah. which is wide open, no trees at all. Mm, that's a long stretch. It felt like walking on the sun, like that yeah. was tough. And that song was actually playing while we were walking. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Like, I don't know if they were doing that on purpose, but uh, yeah. I don't think so. I just, yeah. yeah like, man, walking on the sun. And we're just like, like sweating. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. my God. I mean, every day this vacation, I sweat more than I did the day before, and I didn't think that was possible. Because yeah, it's, it's just been pretty humid. Out. It's just been getting hotter and yeah. hotter every single day. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we, we, we made it. <laughs> I think Real Feel was like 103 yesterday. In the middle of the afternoon, and yeah, like 103, like 104. It was. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Just Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated on these hot days, people. Like, yeah, this heat stroke is no joke. So, yeah, overall, great rides, great food, great operations, great merchandise. Um, how could we not recommend the roller coast? Absolutely. Cedar, One of our favorites. Cedar Point is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. A beautiful vacation destination for the whole family. Yeah, if you guys. Plenty to do out here. In general. Just yeah, just the Sandusky area is like, yeah, it's a vacation destination. Yeah. There's so much to do out here. So, yeah, if uh, you have the chance, I highly recommend making it out here. It's totally worth it. Absolutely. Even if you aren't a coaster buff, you'll still have fun. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more theme park content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.